But Sean, obviously you guys happy with the win, but what the defensive performance today, how, how alarming is it that you guys have been run on like this? Uh, and I guess what did get better late for you guys on that side of the ball? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those things, man. Those, those guys on the opposite side of the ball, they get paid as well. Um, you know, we, we played a really good team uh, despite their uh, – you know, their record, they're, they're still a phenomenal team, man. They got really good running backs, really good skilled guys on the outside and really good quarterbacks. So, you know, for us, all we can do right now, man, is keep going back to the drawing boards, keep getting better, improving. It's still early in the season. Um, even though we're 3-0, we still got a lot of things that we can improve on. But at the same time, man, you know, it's, it's better to be 3-0 than 0-3. Claire. Rashawn, what's, uh, or how big a difference is it between falling on a fumble and picking it up and running with it, and and did you think you had a chance to score when you got it in your hands today? Yeah, um, you know, you, you want to try to you want to try to recover the ball, and that's the main thing. If you had the opportunity to be able to advance it, you know, that's even a plus. Um, you know, I was lucky to have the opportunity to get to see the ball, get it, and try to be able to score. I saw you know uh, a crease that I was trying to get um, get to, but I was you know tripped up. But at the same time, I just wanted to try to at least provide the offense a good. You know, good chance to have a good field position over there in the red zone. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, man, I'm just happy that these guys were able to stick together and we was able to, you know, come out with a win. Rashawn, it seems like Dalvin Cook had a lot of space to, to run into today. In your estimation, what was sort of going wrong there from y'all's perspective? Um, I mean, whatever it was, I mean, I feel like it was more on us just – you know, being our own selves. Um, it wasn't so much what they were doing, but what we were doing wrong. And, you know, at the same time, I mean, Dalvin Cook is, is an elite running back. He's a top five running back to me, for what I think. And, uh, you know, that's the reason why they pay him so much money, because he, he knows how to get vertical, he knows how to break tackles, and, you know, help that offense be, um, you know, as dangerous as they are. So, um, but at the same time, you know, it, it gave us a really good look to go against a guy like that and be able to, you know, kind of go back to drawing, but whenever we get back in a situation like that, that we know we can come back and be able to win a game. Vrabel talks about when he gets asked about the run game, you know, got to swarm better, got to tackle better, got to have better technique. Is all of that where you guys want it to be at this point? Yeah, I mean, regardless if we shut them out or, you know, or the situation that we're in now, we feel like we continue to get better each and every game. Um, you know, this is, this is a league that, you know, you know, you, you take your wins and you run with it, but at the same time, you go to the next game and try to be even better than you were, you know, the, the previous week. And, you know, I feel like that's what we're going to do, man. Uh, you know, on, on down the line as the season goes, you know, we want to be able to flip this thing uh, and be able to say that, you know, we're able to shut guys out. We'll be, we're able to, you know, stop the run game consistently and be more consistent. So, you know, there's a lot of room for improvement, but, man, I'm just happy to be able to, you know, be 3 on, be able to celebrate with my guys. Gentry. Yeah, Rashawn, as a guy who, who's been a part of some good defenses on this team, where, where do you where do you feel like y'all are falling short right now? Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like it's just, you know, it's one of those things, man. Um, you know, you got to be able to kind of balance one of the two. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that we still can work on. There's a lot of guys. We got, you know, we got new faces. We got guys that are hurt. We got guys that are, you know, still learning the system and stuff. So, you know, you got to take that all into account as well. But, you know, it doesn't, doesn't take away from the fact that we, we still have to improve, we still have to get better, you know, all of us, including myself. Um, but, you know, it's another challenge that, we, that, we're, that we're eager to face and that we're ready to, you know, you know, take on. And, you know, that's the reason why we're able to, you know, play this great game, the fact that we have another opportunity to be able to redeem ourselves and show the league that, you know, we are a top defense. Teron, Jim, left. Teron? Yeah, playing in a dome without fans, obviously there's crowd noise, but – as a guy, like especially having to call the plays in the defense, do you find yourself having to change your pitch or try to be careful not to be too loud with it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of things that go into play with that. I mean, that's, that's a really good you know, perspective from you. Um, you know, you, you take into account the fans, excluding the fans, the fans itself, you know, give you kind of that, you know, that upper hand as well. And, you know, for them, either way, it would have been, you know, a situation for us to be able to kind of, you know, use in our own way. Um, the fact that there were fans here, I feel like they still would have been quiet anyway, the fact that they were going against their, you know, their, their, their offense and in their own town. So, but at the same time, and uh, those fans, they, they play a really big part uh, in whether you win or lose. And, um, you know, hopefully, you know, dealing with this COVID-19 thing or situation we got, hopefully don't long down the season that we're able to get our fans back as well and be able to, you know, kind of get things back to normal. Last question, Jim. 
Hey, hey, Rashad, what, what do you say to the guys on offense, you know, two, two weeks in a row for over 30 uh, points, and how encouraging is that moving forward? I would just tell those guys, man, uh, you know, keep pushing, keep doing exactly what they're doing. Um, you know, they, they've been able to, you know, help us out on defense, man, just giving us opportunities uh, to be able to kind of have a cushion, man. And, you know, those guys are still playing. Um, you know, I even remember a situation last year, we were playing, defense was playing really, really good. Um, offense was starting to get going, you know, it kind of flipped. So, you know, that's the reason why you play with, you know, those guys on the field, man. That's the reason why you have a full team of, you know, however many guys you have, man. You, you have to use those guys to be able to get a win. You know, those guys on offense, you know, they're, they're doing a hell of a job. Um, you know, all we can do right now is get team to go back to the drone boys, keep working, and, uh, you know, see as a defense, you know, we can even be even more better than what we are now. You, you have any doubt Guskowski was going to make the last one? No, I had no doubt at all, man. Is it is you know you, you trust your, you trust the guys that you play with, man. And I trusted him that he was gonna you know come back and be able to do what he did. You know he got a lot of slack for <laughs> the first game that he had, but at the same time, the guy that was able to come back in hostile environment, be able to come back you know in a way game to be able to answer like he did, he made all his kicks. You know he, he you know you see why you bring a guy onto your squad like that. You know, you know I got to give kudos to him.